Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this easy Easter egg. This is a perfect way to use all your scrap yarns. You can crochet all in one color, but I think it will be boring. I change colors every row, so I use one, two, three, four, five colors because this egg has five rows. And you can crochet two sides the same or you can play with the colors. For example, this egg I started with the orange and finished with the red. And on the other side I started with the red and finished on the orange. And I'm also going to show you how to join back loops only. This is no sew. The reason I use different color so you can see better. This egg I did exactly the same both sides and when you use same color to join it will look like this. So you will need yarn approximately five six four colors doesn't matter it depends how colorful you want your egg so crochet hook scissors and a little bit of stuffing so let's begin if you like my videos please subscribe leave a comment and hit that like button make a magic circle it's very easy like tying a knot and turn chain three to begin this will count as the first double crochet eight more double crochet in the ring I crocheted 8 double crochet all together including chain 3 will be 9 double crochet. This finish the round 1 so join in the third chain from the beginning. For next round I'm going to use a different color. Join your yarn in the same space where you just finished off. I'm going to crochet over two ends. Chain three to begin. Chain 3 will count as the first double crochet and crochet one double crochet in the same spot. Crochet two double crochet in all of the next eight stitches. I 
I finished my round and joined in the third chain from the beginning. So round two, have 18 double crochets, including chain three. To begin next round, I will use different color. To join, pick any space. Chain three to begin. This will count as the first double crochet and crochet two more double crochet in the same space. Including chain three, we have three double crochet. Continue crocheting three double crochet in each of the spaces. So skip two double crochets, there's my next space. I crocheted all the way around, three double crochet in each of the spaces, and I had nine spaces. To finish off round three, just join in the third chain from the beginning. To begin round four, I will use different color yarn. Pick any chain, um, not chain, I'm sorry, pick any spaces. To begin, chain three. This will count as a first double crochet and crochet three more double crochet in the same space. In the first space, chain three count as the first double crochet, and I crochet three more double crochet. 
all together it will be four double crochet and crochet four double crochet in each of the spaces I finish my round and join the, to the third chain from the beginning to start next round I'm gonna use a different color Now we're going to work in stitches. Pick any stitch and join your yarn. Single crochet in the same stitch. And single crochet in the next 11 stitches. All together we crocheted 12 single crochets. One half double crochet in next of the two stitches. One double crochet in next of the three stitches. Three triple crochet in one in next stitch. one double crochet in next of the three stitches two half double crochet in next of the two stitches Twelve single crochets. I finish my round. I'm not gonna pass enough. There's my last stitch, so I'm gonna cut my yarn and pull my yarn like this I'm gonna join seamless so I can crochet uh, in the back loops uh, both sides together so I'm taking this stitch from the back and take the yarn and pull through and here's my stitch i'm only taking the back loop and 
pull the yarn through this is how it looks like and now I'm gonna insert through my front loop so I can secure better Hold in the back and I'm gonna secure here in the back Make another one. Now we're going to connect with the hook using back loops only. So find your three treble crochet on each piece this is your outside and this is your outside and put your two insides together I'm gonna use a different color to show you so you can see better but you can use same color to join them together so there is my three treble crochet and this is my middle one and i will use only back loops there's my back loop of this piece and i can turn around to see better there is my back loop of my next piece So join we're gonna slip stitch both sides together using only back loops there's my back loop here and back loop over here you can always turn to see if you're doing everything correct so we're gonna slip stitch I almost finished I stuffed an egg and the reason I left this little space because it's now it's gonna be harder to connect that's why I waited to the last stitches and then only stuffed because now I have to look for stitches And it's a little harder to connect when you have stuffing in.
and I'm gonna make another stitch here to make it even. So make it as even as possible and there is your Easter egg. If you like my videos, please subscribe, leave a comment and hit that like button. Thank you. See you next time.